Hello, my name is Ron Griffin for ArtificialAnimation.com and the Dash 8 was released two days ago which is cause for celebration because uh, Flight Simulator hardly ever receives well, good quality simulation products it usually takes a couple of years between each um, producer pushing something out so this is very exciting and um, two days ago I wasn't too enthusiastic but uh, the plane quickly won me over and um, well, the first flight didn't go that great in fact, it looks something like this which uh, apparently it's called the Crash 8 and it's not very easy to flare but uh, that's beside the point I want to give a very basic brief overview over the FMS in the Dash 8 Q400 um, I can't really assure that it's accurate I'm just putting to use what I've learned over the past couple of days reading the manual yes I know men don't usually use the manual um, that's where we go wrong a lot of the time it seems because I learned quite a lot from the manual and uh, specifically the system overview is very useful to me so uh, I'm just going to share with you what I've learned um, when it comes to the FMS and the FMS only. So I'm going to show you how to program a route and also how to clear an existing route that is already programmed uh, efficiently. And I'm also going to uh, show you how to clear up an error where uh, your whole route basically disappears until you direct to or uh, you fly the part of the leg. So uh, without further ado, I'm just parked up here at the uh, Sola in Norway and uh, we're going to be uh, planning a route over to um, Aberdeen and first of all we want to switch on our FMS's so uh, the on button handles that um, you just click on and they turn on and they run through self tests in order to power up and if you're wondering that's not uh, my music in the background that is the plane playing the boarding music which is uh, pretty cool usually I have to use FS Light Keeper or something else to play the sounds but this just does it for me um, so that's pretty uh, pretty nifty about this aircraft. As you can see, uh, we just passed all the tests. And the IRS, uh, as you load in, it's already on nav. And the IRS seems to have initialized already because we have our uh, ND and it's showing where we uh, are supposed to be. So we can just hit accept in the bottom left, uh, LSK. And uh, first thing we're going to do is go into FPL. And um, as you can see, I've got a route here. And how we clear the routes is we click menu once we're in the flight plan page and we click delete FPL once and then again. If you go back to FPL, it's gone. However, this plane works a bit differently than you'd expect. If you can look, we still have a waypoint. And that's because the nav still has um, our actual first waypoint. And to get rid of this, we click on it and then type 99 in the scratch pad and hit enter. And that removes it. Now, if we look on the ND, we still have it. If we go back into FPL, type 99, hit enter. That's completely gone, and we're ready to start uh, our new flight plan. We have a flashing message box. We can click message, and that's just the GPS no rain message. We can click it again, and it'll uh, go away. So let's start. And the way you find uh, waypoints for the FMS, I'm using eddiegla.co.uk. Um, it's free. You sign up, and you get the database. It's a real-world ABS scanners that have picked it up. You can also use uh, programs like VRoute and uh, Route Finder, which can be found at rfinder, uh, I think it's asaalink.net. Um, but just Google for that if you want to find it. And I'm using this flight plan right here. We're going from Klon direct to Budon, direct to Trout. And with Trout, we enter the Papa 600 Delta Airway and we exit at Aberdeen. Uh, so we're going to be programming the uh, airway in this as well. So. Let's start programming. First, we need our departure airport, which is Echo November Zulu Victor. Hit enter, accept. Next, we want the Klon waypoint. So C uh, K L O N N. Enter, accept. And then the next waypoint was uh, direct to Budon. So B U D O N. Except the next waypoint um, was Trouts. T R O U T. Enter and accept. And now um, we want to enter the airway. Uh, how do we do that? We can't just type it in. So if we click the LSK next to, um, we basically want to highlight the next leg, which is empty. And then we hit the list button. And then on the right side, we hit air under PLT. And we can find our airways that are leaving from Trout. So number two is P600D. So we type two in the scratch pad, hit enter. And now we exit via ADN, which is number one. So enter. And now we have that programmed in. 
Um, not sure, there are apparently no waypoints along P600D, it's just Trout ADN, so I'm not sure why we even needed to enter it, but uh, it's very good that we did because then I got to show you how to enter that um, specific uh, type of waypoint, the airways there, that's how you do it. So at this point we can enter in our arrival, which is Echo Golf, uh, let's see, what was it? Echo Golf Papa Delta, so AGPD. Enter, accept, and uh, now we can uh, plan our departure and our arrival. So when you're on the FPL page, hit menu, depart. We're taking runway eight, uh, 18 here at Sula. So runway uh, number two is 18. Hit enter. Uh, for the standard instrument departure, we're taking the clone five golf departure, which is two, enter. And how I know that is because uh, it's not always the case, but usually the first waypoint will be the actual departure as well um, but that is not always the case especially in the UK and Germany so uh, clone uh, 5 golf and then you hit enter again or you type uh, or you hit FPL either of those to work just make sure you don't click away from this page either hit FPL or enter now we're back here and um, if we go here we can actually see we've already if we move over here I'll teach you how to step through so if we hit format and now we can see our aircraft. We can use the range ring here to zoom. Uh, however, you see we've got this error. We just see clon on the entire ND, and that's obviously completely wrong. Um, and to fix that, I'm not sure if that's intentional or not, or if it's actually in the aircraft. Uh, I have no idea. If someone gets back to me with that, that's kind of useful. But uh, to fix that, go to the DTO page, and we'll just clear ourselves direct from ENZV to ENZV. Um, that's basically, it does nothing to our flight plan. It just directs. So one, enter. Bam, we have our standard instrument departure, up to VAR and then MADI, and then out to Klon. So we can go into FPL, we can hit next, and we can step through. And you can see we go over to Aberdeen there. So now let's plan our arrival. So uh, go um, FPL, menu, arrive, and if we bring up, uh, I have a chart program here. It's called uh, Navigraph Charts. It's the people that release the air rack cycles for all of the... Uh, your favorite products and um, I highly recommend it. it's very useful that or jet view both work fine so we're taking runway uh, 16 and we're coming from ADN and that's right here on the center line fix so we're coming basically direct to ADN which is uh, already going to be pretty nice for intercepting so we're going to take runway 16 so 16 is 3 so type 3 on the runway star we don't need to mess with that because there are none uh, approach we'll take ILS so number two enter and then the transition uh, you can select one of the Aberdeen transitions but uh, in this case it's so direct in and it's in, it's in daylight uh, and it'll be a visual anyway so what I'll just do is I'll without selecting a transition I'll hit enter and then uh, if you zoom in here you'll be able to see that because we are flying to Aberdeen and direct to the VOR ADN will fly sort of uh, into the center fix and we want to go back up so in this case um, you can either remove ADN completely or you can just uh, heading select or wait for ATC vectors if there's any ATC online um, but for the purpose of most of you flight simmers out there you can just go ahead and delete it so to do that click on ADN del once del twice and it's gone and now you can see we fly direct to the uh, center fix so you have some no links here and it's important to note that for example this here between trout and i16 we want to delete that so click on it del twice what you don't want to delete is for example after manual here this is uh, to do with the missed approach and this automatically this is like a discontinuity it's a gap in your flight plan and you can put in gaps by typing gap that's an actual gap that makes that no link happen and the reason there's a gap there is because as soon as we enter the missed approach procedure um, this link will automatically close, so we don't want to actually delete the thing after manual, but we will delete this between runway 16 and 620 feet, so Dell, and we'll just leave that one at 14. So, at this point, we have our departure, and uh, we can step through, and we have our arrival, and that's pretty much us planned. Now, the uh, very important thing to do is to set this nav source here if you're going to be flying with LNAV set this nav source all the way to the left 
so that FMS1 comes up down here. That way, the navigation source is air FMS, and it'll fly along the FMS. Um, one last word of, uh, I guess, warning is uh, if you expect this plane's L or VNAV to work the same way as you're used to if you're flying Boeing's, um, don't. Just completely clear that idea out of your head, because the VNAV in this plane is completely different. Uh, the plane doesn't have an auto throttle, as I'm sure some of you may know. And because of that, it's, uh, you know, you don't set up your perf and everything like the way you would in a Boeing. So, from what I understand at this point in time, correct me if I'm wrong, please, um, but the FPL page is the single most important page you're going to be filling out. The rest is uh, apparently not used that all that often. The only thing that's really, uh, other than that, that's used a lot is VNAV, but that's once you're in flight and it calculates the top of descent based on the waypoint you want to go down to. So, I hope this has uh, brought up some uh, good points for you and um, hopefully you've learned something. It's just a quick tutorial, by no means accurate to the real world. It's just what I've learned so far and I wanted to share it because there are a lot of people that uh, simply don't know how to fly the plane yet, which is completely understandable. And uh, there's a lot of documentation supplied with the plane, but other than that, there's really not much you can find on the internet. Not as much as a 737, 747 or something like that. So, uh, I hope it's been uh, of some use to you. And if you do like the video, please like it, subscribe. I do make uh, aviation content quite a lot. So uh, until uh, next time, bye-bye.